Welcome to Motivated Results. Today is actually the last part of our Nutrition 101 series. We'll be covering um, and collecting all the information that we started with the last couple of days, putting it together so you can actually create a diet for you based on your goals. Now, keep in mind, we're going to be moving very quickly through this information because there are three different types of goals potentially that you could have, so we need to run through them as quickly as possible. Um, questions along the way? Either way, post them below. Let's get started. All right, guys, so here we go. This is my diet and suggestion or diet planning, whatever it is that you want to call this. Uh, before we get started, if you do not feel comfortable with this type of diet or moving forward with this type of diet, or you just want to get some com confirmation that this is something safe or whatever, uh, speak to your physician, make sure this is okay, make sure you are a healthy individual to move forward with a strict diet of this type. Um, Secondly, I also want to give a huge props to Brandon from Campbell Fitness. The, a lot of these numbers came from him. Um, a lot of the suggestions came from him if I had, have had huge success with it. And I'm currently on the uh, cutting version of his diet right now. Some of these numbers have been tweaked in order to uh, maximize my goals slash results because some things did need to be modified. But for the most part, um, his stuff is dead on. And if you were looking to do a bodybuilding, um, or if you're looking to get more information on bodybuilding or the bodybuilding lifestyle, I highly, highly, highly suggest you check out his channel. He has a two YouTube channels. One is Campbell Fitness. And that's where the bulk of his videos are. He's transferring all of those now into his new channel, CampbellFitness.tv. I highly suggest you subscribe to both of them. He's a great guy. He's always answering every single question you have. And he has a huge, in his website, he's got a huge resource of information. And he uses facts to back up all of his um, statements. So huge props to Brandon. Great things. Thanks again for the help. But let's move forward, guys. Let's kind of do this diet. And by the way, a lot of people are doing this diet. It's not just myself. It's not just some crazy diet that people are, are starting. This is just basically calorie counting and, and, mul and not multiplying, but it's actually just manipulating your macro so that you can reach a certain goal. So let's get started. Essentially, what you have to realize is tracking is key. As I mentioned in dozens of my videos, tracking your food is key for every single thing that you do when you're trying to re reach a goal. Why? Because most of the time people are eating too much or too little or they're not eating the type, right type of things in order to reach their goals. It happened to me for a very long time. Uh, easiest ways to track your food are either websites, journal, uh, phone apps. Uh, my, my suggestion or my preference usually is my fitness pal. Why? Because it's a website, it's a phone app, the app itself has a scanning feature which is perfect, it makes things so much easier, and um, whenever you use your app or the website, things synchronize with the MyFitnessPal server so that you can actually reach your log wherever you are, whatever you're doing. So my process, I did essentially just decide on the goal, figure out your caloric maintenance number, plan, diet, and stay committed. So basically decide on your goal, whether you're trying to cut, whether you're trying to gain mass, or you're trying to maintain, figure out your caloric number, plan the diet, and then just stay committed by working out and continuing to track your food and making sure you're within your numbers. So let's start on deciding your goal. What are you trying to do right now? Initially, um, there's three things you can do, whether it's losing weight, maintaining or cutting and traditionally most people can't do either gain mass or lose weight at the same time now the big exception to that are, are people who are starting out usually when you're starting out you can lose weight easily and also put on a little bit of muscle and that's because you're you're new at this you're new at the process you're a newbie essentially you your body is in this shock where it's like what the hell's going on so you are able to really put on some muscle and also lose some weight. But most of the time, after you've been doing this for a couple months or maybe a year, for sure a year, um, it's, it becomes more difficult to do this. So I would suggest picking one of the goals. That way you don't stress out and you can focus your effort on, all, for, on one thing. So these are just some rules of thumbs and some also some, some, um, some language. So just in case I don't lose you guys. If you're trying to lose weight, that's essentially a caloric deficit, a.k.a. in the bodybuilding lifestyle or, or fitness lifestyle, it's usually cutting or cutting weight. Uh, trying to maintain, it's a calorie maintenance. 
uh, aka maintenance or maintaining weight trying to gain weight it's a calorie surplus you're eating more calories than you need aka bulk or you're bulking or whatever you want to call it uh, essentially it's just kind of terms for you guys to to know that way if I say them <laughs> I don't lose you guys uh, so how do you figure out your caloric maintenance number I use a website called free dieting dot com we'll be visiting that short that website shortly and so keep that in mind I also put links in below to a lot of things that, that will help you out now keep in mind once you figure out these things once we go to the website this is just your starting point it, it's, it's just a starting point you might have to tweak this after a week or two of not uh, of, of really tracking your food and doing your workouts and seeing the results because let's face it a calculator an online calculator is not going to be perfect for you but it will help you get a good 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 estimation of where you need to be so um, essentially when you when you do the 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 calculator when you use the calculator it's going to give you a maintenance number essentially if you're trying to just maintain weight that number is probably what you want to start with essentially um, same process for the other two as well you you try it out for a week or two see where you're at if if you're losing too much weight you bump up the number if you're gaining too much weight you bump down the number if you're maintaining if you're gaining weight I would suggest putting picking or choosing a, a 200 to 500 calorie surplus in order to gain weight same thing if you're losing weight I would suggest picking a 200 to 500 deficit in order to um, lose weight now keep in mind the smaller the number um, the slower the process, but you're also going to maximize some of those things that you're trying to do. For example, if you're trying to gain weight, 200 to 500 calories. Let's say you go 200 calories over, it's going to be a slow bulk, quote unquote bulk, slow gain of weight, but you're going to stay leaner throughout the process. Same thing when you're losing weight. If you pick a, a small deficit, like a 200 calorie deficit, you're going to lose weight very slowly, but you're going to maintain as much muscle mass as you can in the process which is most what most people really want to do and I highly suggest going with the slow cut also because the more muscle mass you have um, the better your body will maintain calories and maintain body weight and all that good stuff so let's go ahead and visit freedieting.com and let's get some numbers alright so basically this is freedieting.com so what you want to do is once you're on the website you go to calculators daily calorie needs and here we go we have a very fancy schmancy little calculator that you could use so in order to speed things up I'm gonna run through this that way we can get a number and then come back to the presentation and work with that number so with 25 years of age if you're curious yeah that's how old I am um, here we go wait we're gonna do a 200 um, currently not at 200 but I was over 200 when I was cutting or I mean bulking so that's just a solid number that we can start with that's pretty good number we can start with in order to get a decent number um, 510 let's say three times a week just for uh, number sake because I already knew this calculation I know what's gonna come up so I, this is a very easy number to kind of just work with so we don't confuse anyone so three times a week we hit the calculate maintenance what you want to look at is just the maintenance ignore these numbers uh, we're going to control these numbers, so there's no need to do any of this. At these numbers, especially this extreme fat loss number, you're, you're going to be compromising muscle mass. This calorie number is way, way, way too low, and my suggestion is always to maintain as much muscle mass as possible. It helps you keep your metabolism higher. It helps you maintain a lean body easier than it would be if you had very, very, very little muscle mass. So... Here we go. So let's start with 2613. So what I'm going to do in order to just make things easier, we're going to assume this is 2600 even. Because I want to do a slow cut or a slow bulk, what I would suggest is starting at about 200 calories over. And then if you need more, you bump up that, that calorie deficit or that calorie surplus number. So we're going to just start at 2,600, though. That's just maintenance. Assuming that this moving forward is my maintenance number, this is it. So we're going to go back and then figure that out then. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now that we've figured out our maintenance number, we can start figuring out the macros. The macronutrient breakout is essentially what's going to give you the best results because um, 
of what they do in your body, how that translates into protein, protein synthesis, and also it's going to help you build a little bit more muscle. Um, this is essentially body composition. So I'm going to give you basically all three formulas, and then we can work the math on one, and then we'll let you figure out the rest later. Essentially, if you're trying to lose weight, my suggestion is one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So as we used on um, the previous website, what you want to do is multiply 1 times 200, which is going to give you that 200 grams of protein. 25% of your weight is your fats. So 25% of 200 would be essentially 50 grams of fat a day. And then you fill the remainder with carbs. That's what we talked about in the calorie video about carbs being a cal I'm sorry, the carb video about carbs being a very valuable variable. Say that ten times fast. So maintenance should theoretically be just that number you receive from the website, but because we're looking to also maximize body composition, you want to make sure you got a good macro breakout. So I would highly suggest the same on, on protein, one gram per pound. 20 to 25 percent of fats this is a number that you can toy with if you're not liking your body composition you can bump up the fats or bump them down depending on where you're at it's not going to be a significant difference to be honest with you but you know it also gives you a little bit more wiggle room with your diet just make sure that you log them correctly and then as far as the carbs you do the same you fill them in if you're trying to gain weight or bulk Essentially, what you want to do is 1.2 grams of protein. If you want to do 1 gram, that's also okay. I do 1.2 just for peace of mind and also for... Um, that's actually it, quite frankly, just peace of mind. So 1.2 grams, it actually also, in my thoughts, kind of helps a little bit more with the build, muscle building when you're trying to bulk. And it also helps you not have to eat four, five, seven hundred 700 calories worth of carbs. So I'm sorry, 700 grams worth of carbs. Uh, also, as far as fats, you bump those up a little bit more. Uh, I would highly suggest 30%. If you don't feel comfortable with that or you're not liking the way your body's shaping out after a couple weeks, I would highly suggest 25. Keep in mind, your fats, once again, are not the reason why you're quote unquote gaining weight. It's your calories. It, the, the, this is just body composition. So it shouldn't be that big of a deal if your calories aren't super, super, super crazy high for what you need. And then once again, you fill in the remainder with carbs. So let's work the math on a calorie sur or deficit, which means that I'm trying to lose weight. So using that 2,600 calorie maintenance, essentially I want to do a small deficit. I want to lose weight in, a, in very small little increments. So I'm going to do a 200 calorie deficit. That brings my calories to 2,400 from 2,600. You subtract 2 from 22, 26, you subtract 200 and you get 24. So let's do the work. Sh let's do the math, shall we? And then what you, what you would want to do is go back, if you're, this is not your goal, to go back and work the math for yours. So protein, one gram per pound. Um, 200 pounds when we did that math in, in the free diet website. Uh, you do 200 pounds, you multiply that by one to get 200 grams of protein. That's how many grams of protein you need per day. All right, so to figure out the calories in 200 grams of protein, you multiply the 200 grams times 4 calories because essentially 1 gram of protein is equal to 4 calories, as we talked about in the calories video. That's going to equal out to 800 calories. To figure out fats, fats are essentially 25% of your body weight. So at 200 pounds, 25% of it is going to be 50. That's 50 grams of fat a day. If you want to figure out the calories, you multiply 50 times 9 calories per gram of fat, which means that 1 gram of fat is equal to 9 calories. So times 50 equals 450. So, so far we got 450 calories from fats, 800 calories from protein. You add those up, you should be getting 1250. 1250 calories. That means that you subtract 1250 calories from 2400 calories, at w which is our current deficit, it should give you 1150 calories. So, what you want to f fill the rest of this with carbs, because essentially you figured out your carbs, you figured out your proteins, 
So what you really want to do is figure out how many carbs you can have in a day. So what you do is you would mo divide 1150 or 1150 by 4 calories per carb, which essentially means the same thing as protein. One gram of carbs is equal to 4 calories. So you divide the calories by 4 and you get 287.5 grams. That's how many grams of carbs you need. So essentially, that's kind of your macros for this 2400 2, calorie diet. So essentially you would need in 2400 calories you would need 200 grams of protein, 50 grams of fat, and 287 grams of carbs. Quite frankly, that carb number is not not super low. That's actually a decent carb number. Um, so you shouldn't kind of go crazy and, and insane since you're not cutting carbs at this point. After this, what you want to do is essentially staying committed and tracking your progress and, and exercising and doing what you need to do. Uh, what I would highly suggest is making an account at MyFitnessPal so that you now that you have your numbers, you can log them and track them more efficiently and see what you need to do every single day and how you need to eat every single day and tracking those things so that you are getting the most out of your results. So let's go ahead and go to MyFitnessPal now and go ahead and, and see what we need to do there to maximize our time in tracking food. Alright, so this is MyFitnessPal. If you guys have not been here, um, it's this website and app that I suggest and I recommend over others. Now, keep in mind that there are other ways to track this, and you can always do your own. This is just my suggestion if you are lazy like me. <laughs> so, if you're new to this website, though, just keep in mind this does track it. If you use this on your phone and later on want to reference on your computer, you can cross-reference, and it matches, and it synchronizes, and it all stored up on MyFitnessPal's uh, servers. So, if you're new to the website, what you want to do is click on the Join Now. Uh, otherwise click the login but if you click join now you'll select a username set your email set your password they're gonna be asking for some demographic questions like your age your current weight your current goals um, your gender all that good stuff we're gonna go back here we're gonna go ahead and log in hopefully I remember the right password otherwise it's gonna be awkward here we go alright so let's close this out we don't need that junk all right, so this is the calorie range they gave me. Um, comparing to what you can compare it to what I'm going to be, um, what I'm going to be setting in here, and you're going to see it's a big difference. So more likely than not, what I've, we've, what we figured out so far will be a little bit better for you and will help you reach certain goals way better than this will. So what you want to do is go into your goals and let's change this number. This is currently where you're at. Um, these numbers are really low, especially this one. If, for example, I use the weight being 200 on that, um, on the um, other app that I used, and so what um, the free diet website. So this is not enough protein for a 200-pound male. This is not enough protein to retain muscle mass, and you will lose um, muscle mass in this using this low of a dosage of protein a day. Fats are almost as much as protein. It's a little ridiculous. So let's change the goal, shall we? Uh, we're going to go custom. Do not go guided. It's going to give you that recommended number. So based on a cutting, aka weight loss, macro, math, breakout, whatever you want to call it, remember my, my maintenance was 26. So I'm going to do 2,400 calories. And then we're going to split this up. If you, you can check my math, but based on the math I showed you guys on the previous slide, we're going to be at 200, we're going to need 200 grams of protein. So keep in mind that since these percentages go by fives, you have to try to be as accurate as possible and have it in the back of your mind that you need to make sure you know how much you need to eat. Um, if you, if you need, I'll, and I'll explain that to you in a second. Um, hold on here. So, anyways, here we go. Uh, 
my number should have been 2400 calories which we can hard plug in that works 200 grams of protein uh, if we go lower than this it's 180 that's 20 off I'd rather be 10 over um, let's see here I'm 50 grams of fat I'm a little bit over on the fat with 53 grams but I'm supposed to have 287 and a half grams of carbs as you can tell there's no way to get to drill further down on these percentages so you're gonna have to be as accurate as possible and when logging your food you're just gonna have to have a thought in your mind that this this is not the exact numbers you know it's not that off to be honest with you all you theoretically have to do is really just move 10 grams over to car carbs and that's gonna be the safest bet but I would suggest just kinda having in the back of your mind just knowing what you need to do but after you're done with that change your goals it's gonna hard plug everything there goals have been updated and then you can just kinda go to your home and boom there you go once you track food and you'll be able to split it up here into different sections track food and it'll add everything up for you your cell phone I think also has a uh, an ability to add down drill down further if you want to know about your 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 sodium and any vitamins and minerals that you're you're picking up it does drill further down into it but this does have the essential macronutrients and your calorie intake calories carbs fats proteins now if you want to actually add more um, tabs here besides breakfast lunch dinner and snack you can go to settings and then actually in add different ones here um, actually here if you want you can add different things actually wrong one wrong section wrong section guys um, here we go change names you can add different ones so if you want to add snacks in the bottom you want to have lunch right here there we go screw it when we hard type it if you want to go lunch and then you want to go like a snack and then lunch two or you want to go like a um, no, what the hell what the I just do hold on you get what I'm saying I mean you can go dinner whatever you want to do you can break them all out so you have more options and you can if you're gonna be a person that has multiple meals in a day then you'll have um, the ability to do so see so that's kind of it for that guys so let me know if you have questions on this as well because I know this can be a little overwhelming so that's basically it guys that's kind of the diet planning putting everything together using the app to track your food um, these are my suggestions keep in mind that uh, the diet is not perfect it's not set on this is actually a starting point it's up to you at this point to continue to track your food and your diet but also to track to make sure that this is working for you you are going to need to sit down and track your body composition and track your weight composition more likely not going to be through visual just kind of waking up seeing what you look like seeing what's changed um, give yourself a little bit of time in between and don't get frustrated uh, you should see changes within a week maybe two weeks max if that isn't the case then you need to tailor the calories or tailor the macros differently more likely not going to be your calories and then you're going to have to readjust everything at the back end since this is a confusing topic and I know this is going to bring a lot of questions feel free to send me a private message if you guys have um, questions or having a hard time with anything the more information you can include the better um, you can always post these on below though if you have a, if you guys have questions uh, I know this series has been long overdue and I'm thankful for you guys sticking with me and I appreciate any sort of um, views, likes, whatever that you guys just give this. Um, once again, thanks again for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know. Thanks again and we'll continue regular videos here depending on what's going on with me and what I'm doing. Thanks again guys and we'll see you guys later.